The developers at Sea of Thieves has just given us players the funniest, stupidest choice I've ever seen. We can choose to bring back the final boss of the game, a villain that has been hyped up for four years by adventures, tool tales, a world event, and a book. Or we could just say lol no. In today's Tales of Getting Booty, our first session to decide the fate of Flameheart was pretty scuffed. Chris and I were on a brigantine, however, our third crewmate T Smalls was actually still busy, and so we figured, why not duo the brigantine until she arrived? What's the worst that could happen, right? And so we received our flag from Belle, as the seas were swarming with red beacons, signalling the votes for Flameheart's return. For those unaware of how this event works, players can capture stone forts and raise their chosen side's flag. Handing in these dolls to your representative will net your chosen side points, or votes. And the more forts your team controls when you hand in, the more these dolls count for. Anyway, Chris and I had arrived at our first fortress, where another ship happened to be clearing through it. And let's go. Got the man. Nice dude, nice, nice, nice. There's one dead. Oh boy, these guys again. Oh. Going downstairs to get some more blunder bombs. And with their crew out of the picture, we raised our green flag, collected our treasures, along with a stack of bewitching dolls we had stolen from the other crew, and made our way over to Belle. Oh, we had just two people. This is too much for us. As a two-man brigantine, we couldn't take any chances, especially with two reaper ships pointing right toward us. Where the hell was our third crewmate T-Smalls anyway? In the name of Flameheart! Oh. Unfortunately for us, the sloop we had just sunk was hovering around Shipwreck Bay. We didn't have many options left, so... Oh, there's a player, there's a oh, player. He's on. Merm, merm, merm. He's on. No! Oh, he killed me and himself, dude. That was... Yeah, we were sunk here, but I was still able to grab our stolen bewitching dolls as I tried to escape. Yeah, swim off with the thing. Just go, just go. I'm trying, I'm really trying. Do you know where the island is? Dude, I'm really trying, but I'm gonna get- Oh. Did you get it? I'm behind you, I'm behind you. I have a storage um, crate. I got boosted out. Dude, you remember the video where I got boosted out? Yeah, that but happened. did you grab the crate? Yeah. Did you grab the crate? Yes. Well, it seemed like the game took some pity on our two-man brigantine. And so while Chris distracted the sloop, I made my way over to Belle and handed in our stolen bewitching dolls. Oh, you did it. Yes. We figured we'd wait for T-Smalls to get over here before disembarking again. And with her finally on board, our ship was dripping with sweat. I mean, look, TSD cannons. They're still greasy from their arena days. You know, if we sink with TSD stuff on the boat, it means we're losers. That's fine. <laughs> Anyway, with our ship fully manned, we collected our flag from Belle again and began our purge of the red beacons. But as we sailed, we spotted the sloop we had just sunk that had sunk us. Finally, we could get revenge for them getting revenge. You're using me for my skill. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, I, I just got, got one. I got you, I got you. I, I should have seen it coming, my bad. Oh, oh I got knocked Damn. off. <laughs> well, it turned out being knocked off of our ship was actually a blessing in disguise, as the enemy sloop was sailing in the perfect circle, giving me access to their ladder. I put that anchor down. Okay. We're turning right now. Should have shots in a second. Yep. Mm. Okay. Oh, they're almost sunk. With their ship dead in the water a second time, we scooped up their loot, and to our surprise... Come here. Don't tell me. What is it? What is it? What is oh, it? Get f Oh my god. They've got two, two enchanted wish dolls two enchanted and another... Dolls. And so we made our way to Mercy's End Fortress again, raised our green flag again, and collected more bewitching dolls. <laughs> all before handing them in to Belle at Shipwreck Bay. I'd say we did a pretty good job at stopping this Supplies must be dwindling by now. from returning, but the event was far from over. I mean, we had only captured one fortress before handing in the dolls. We needed more power, and to do that meant capturing all the fortresses on the seas. With that in mind, Chris, T-Smalls, and I set out once again on a new server, and pretty much captured the entire server's forts without any pushback from other crews. We were absolutely stacked with bewitching dolls. It was kind of ridiculous. But of course, as this event is rigged and Flameheart is destined to return, according to Braindead Reddit and Twitter comments, an Ashen Wind awaited us at our hand in point at Shipwreck Bay. I mean, this is actually hilarious. Flameheart's last stand against players saying lol no. Anyway, with our stacks of dolls handed in, we left our Ashen Wind's treasure behind on the table by Belle for anyone else courageous enough to go against the grain, laugh in the face of what should be done for a better storyline, and give the writers of CF Thieves a real challenge to figure out what the hell they're gonna do. Still, the return of the damned event was active for another week, meaning there was still time to earn
earn points for Belle, and so I returned to the seas with Chris and T-Smalls, and finally Shikashi as well. That's Would I friend. have beat me? <laughs> with us four on a galleon, we were gonna make for a pretty powerful team if I do say so myself. But as we made our way toward our first fortress, we spotted something incredible. Oh sh- there's a uh, Athena tornado. <laughs> there's an Athena tornado. Go, go, I'm just gonna say that. That's right. Someone on our server was doing the final part of the Legend of the Veil. Vale. We could sidestep our objective of stopping Flameheart for an Athena still, right? Right? However, as we closed in on the Athena emissary, they had just that second completed the event and looted the fort, which left us with only one option. We chased them. Mom, we're almost yeah. there. So close. I'm trying to yeah. make it so that we get some wind, wind as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so close. I see ammo. Now you should be able to. I got him. Yeah, nice, I nice. Hit. Oh, they, they hit it. Oh, someone jumped off. We might get a border. Okay, I'll, I'll get on right ladder. Oh. He's dead. I, nice. I killed him. If you saw that, you might be able to get on. I'm going to jump over. Damn, I, I missed. I missed. I I'm gonna blundered grab. him. Oh, put it on fire. I'm getting a merm. Oh. oh, oh, I'm gonna die here, guys. I kind of need uh, someone on the hot room. I know, I know, I'm trying. I'm just trying to get a merm. Oh, they anchored. They anchored? Yeah. Yes. What? Uh, we can anchor here. I'm going over. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna swim to a ship then. Screw it. Why do you anchor? Oh, they, no, they were just stuck. Can you drop anchor uh, stacks? Trying, trying, trying. Okay. I'm gonna die to fire over here. Okay, I'm going over. Oh, they were almost sunk here. Yep. Well, that was probably the most unexpected Athena steal I ever had the pleasure of pulling off. Anyway, back on track, we captured the Imperial Crown Fortress and sold our Athena loot at the Golden Sands Outpost. For the Athena rep, of course. But as we did this, a DA sales Reaper Sloop set out to attack us. And these guys were good too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, stay on the ship for a bit, Chris. Yeah, I'm not going. I'm getting markers here. Nice. They're chain shotting all the way. I'm good down here. Oh, you're down, down here? Mast. I never know. Uh, mid mast is down. I'll take one scoop of water. Yeah, yeah. Hit, hit, um, hit where the um, levers are, Chris. Putting, putting up the mast. Okay. I'm going for the mast again. They got it back up. Yeah, I'm going to go over. I got fire. I got it. I got you. Okay. I'm going to go help Toxie. Okay, go ahead. I need to get cannonball. Ship is fine for now. Okay, I'm gonna go get blunder bombs. I hit him once, but if you're over here, stuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming up the same ladder as you over right there. Okay. Oh, well, he killed me. This duo sloop crew had certainly taken down plenty of galleons before, as they knew how to fight against us perfectly, dismantling any strategy we tried on them. However, it was gonna take more than pot shots and a broken mast to sink our ship. But first, we needed supplies. We didn't have the cannonballs for the type of fight they were bringing to us. And so we made our way to Sanctuary Outpost as we prepared ourselves for a tower defense strategy. Nice, thank you. Okay. Oh yeah, he's on. Oh, I'm dead. He blundered me. Oh, he's gonna kill me. I've got no food on me. Damn. Downstairs, I'll bear it up. We have no holes. I died. I died. Grab buckets when you get back. Okay, I grabbed one bucket. Okay, so... Oh, I just got one balled. I got you, I got you. I literally came up from the downstairs and that's uh, it. Uh, border? Player, yep, yep, player. He shot off, they shot off. I don't know if he's gonna board on the other side. I see him, left side. Left side? Yeah. He's coming around. No, he's still there. <laughs> I shot him. I hit him twice. He's, he's nice, dead, nice, I got nice, him. Nice. Let's go over. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. I'm going to. Oh, shit. Okay, climb in. Oh, actually, oh. I'll stay here. I'll stay here, I'll stay here. So you two went. Here with you, Taxi. I got the mask. You fire at them, Shikashi. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna once. help you. Oh, nice. Dead. Nice, nice, nice. Hammer him, guys. A little bit higher. I'm dead. I died in the water. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm hitting once. I'm hitting? Yeah, you're hitting, you're hitting. Blunder bombing. 
Let me know if I'm hitting with those. He's dead. I hit someone. Oh, yes, you killed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they have almost sunk. Oh, I hit like a bunch of times. They sunk, they sunk. And with that sloopy thorn out of our sides, we made our way to Reapers to sell our loot before reaching Shipwreck Bay to hand in our bewitching dolls. The path to stopping an angry skeleton from shouting at us obnoxiously is far from over. And there are plenty of content creators pushing for Flameheart's revival, including T-Smalls? Hey, what the hell? I guess we'll just have to Got wait it. until next week to see the results, oh. where you'll find me and Chris staking out a galleon trying to hand in bewitching dolls to the Servant of the Flame. But until then, my friend T-Smalls is actually a streamer, so if you'd like to see more from her, check the description for her Twitch link. And hey, maybe you'll see me on one of her streams someday too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.